Welcome to another week full of fun workouts. Today we're going to kick it off with um, testing our push-up strength again and another workout to finish off the day with or start the day with. That could also be the case. Starting with our warm up, we're gonna do four rounds today. Um, the first movement is a push up negative. We're gonna do three reps of this where you're gonna go into your push up, either on your toes or on your knees, and you're gonna slowly lower yourself as slow as possible till you get shaky arms and reach the bottom. How you get up, doesn't matter, <laughs> as long as you get up. If you go onto your knees, it's the same thing. Keep your elbows closed. Go as slow as you can until you reach the ground. So this is a great way to get better at push-ups and to warm them up for what's to come later on. So after we've done our negatives, we have six burpees. I don't think I have to explain this anymore. We know how to do this by now. Just make sure you fully extend in that top position. Six reps, ending with nine strict presses. So again, for this, you can use dumbbell, kettlebells, or your backpack. Um, we're gonna have it in front of our body with both hands. And then we're gonna press up without using our legs to full extension above your head, going back down to that front rack position for nine reps. So four rounds of this, and then afterwards, we're gonna test out your push-up strength. So we're gonna see how this one's gonna go. We did it a few weeks ago and now we're gonna try it out again. So make sure that you go back in time, look in your Whatify and see how many reps you did. Uh, we're gonna do three sets and in between you can rest as long as you want. You have to feel recovered before you can go again for your next set. So don't wait one minute, maybe wait a little bit longer. Push up, what I want to see on your toes is all the way chest to the ground, pressing up to full extension. So you need to lock out those arms when you're in that top position. When you're skating back to your knees, make sure that your belly is not touching the ground, but your chest is, okay? So tense up that core when you go down and back up again. Now, as soon as you do this, so leaning backwards or releasing your hands from the ground, you are not doing unbroken reps anymore. Also, when you're resting for longer than five seconds in a certain position with your hands on the ground, it's also not really unbroken anymore. So make sure that you go for unbroken reps, nice and fast pace. Three sets, rest as long as you want in between, and don't forget to fill in your scores to see if you've improved or not. Well done on your push-ups. The workout for today we're gonna get into is a 20 minute EMOM. And every minute we're gonna have 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. And for this, you can use a backpack, dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you have at home. If you are going to do it single arm, single handed, single arm, then what you're gonna do is switch halfway um, the 50 second mark. So movement number one is an overhead hold. Now you're gonna hold your object above your head with your arms locked out and fully extended. What I don't wanna see from the side is that you are overarching your back. I want you to tense up your core, tilt your pelvis, and basically end up in one straight line. As soon as you start to bend your arms a little bit, it's only gonna get heavier and heavier. So make sure that you lock it out throughout those whole 50 seconds. Okay, minute number two, we have the upright row. Again, you can do this single arm or with two. We're gonna show it with two arms at the same time. You're gonna have your object in front of you, pull it up, with your shoulders and your elbows are gonna end up, end up higher than your shoulders. So make sure you're not shrugging up. Elbows, or, sorry, shoulders stay low. Elbows go high in this one. The upright row. Then the bent over row. We're gonna have a slight bend in our knees, hinge back with our hips and our back stay straight at all times. Arms are fully extended, pulling up your object towards your chest pulling back your shoulder blades, squeezing at the top as hard as you can, and then slowly lowering again. So make sure you really make contact with your body as you're pulling it up when you're doing it with both hands at the same time. Otherwise, make sure that you're moving backwards to a 90 degree angle when you're doing single arm stuff. Okay, the last one is a floor press. We're gonna be laying that down. Your feet can go flat on the ground. These are your pillars. You're gonna retract your shoulder blades so a little arch in your back is perfectly fine. Then what is touching the ground? Your feet, your hips, your upper back or shoulders, and then your head. So your lower back should not be touching the ground in this one. Keeping your elbows close to your body, almost like you would do with a push-up. 
This is your starting position. You're pressing up to full extension and then going back down again, touch and press up. So it's a slight touch in the ground before you press up into the air. Yeah, so four different movements, 20 minutes in total. Enjoy this one and hopefully see you tomorrow for another workout.